Okay, so I'm gonna set you up here. Does cold water kill you? Think about it. No, right? Cold water, we need water to survive. Well, what if I throw you in the Arctic Ocean in your bathing suit? Right? We've got minutes to live. Okay? So what I'm trying to get you to understand is cold, it's not the cold water that kills us. It's our inability to adapt in that environment. All right. If a Navy SEAL is thrown in right next to us, he's going to survive much longer than we are because he can adapt better. He knows how. All right. But us in that environment, we're only going to last for a few minutes. All right. And that's with everything in our life. All right. It's how well can we adapt in that environment. That's why you hear people that have mesothelioma from asbestos poisoning. It's cancer. And what happens is, is those people get that cancer in the same building that someone else worked with them 30 years sitting right next to them. How come one person got cancer and the other didn't? Because one was adapting better in that environment than the other. Now, there's millions of external factors, but what we can help you with here at Exodus is your internal environment, which is the most important in helping you adapt to stress and the environment. All right? And so I like to look at this in what I call a GAP model, G-A-P. All right? That's your general adaptive potential. This is your ability to adapt to stress in your environment. All right? Now, everyone has a GAP. All right? Your gap could be this big, it could be this big, it could be this big, all right? That Navy SEAL in the water, his gap is much larger than ours is to start in that environment, okay? Now, what happens is stress comes in. As long as the stress is within your gap, your body processes that stress, removes it so that you don't have that issue going on, that your body doesn't hold on to that. But what happens is, is if we're thrown in the Arctic Ocean or a tiger gets out of its cage at the zoo, our body goes into a stress response. And if it becomes chronic, then it starts to get beyond our gap. Okay? This is more than we can handle. So over time, what happens is your body goes into a dis-ease process. It spirals downhill and it stores that stress away. All right. So now if you see what happened, your gap used to be this big. Now it's only this big. See this stress that we used to be able to adapt to normally here? Well, another way to put that is, is we're doing the same things, but we're getting a different result. All right. And this, I see this almost every day in our office. Say, I don't know how I got to where I am. I don't know where these symptoms came from. I don't know. Right? And it's because these things slowly happen over time. Right? We're not always in an Arctic Ocean or at a, with a tiger out at the zoo. But these stresses, these traumas, toxins, and thoughts slowly creep in, and then all of a sudden, we're not getting the same result anymore. Now, do you think that when we have a decreased gap, do you think we make healthier decisions or less healthy decisions? Less healthy decisions, right? Let's go downhill. And then now our gap starts to decrease again. And so now our gap's only this big. And so now we're having issues in our health. Maybe we have high cholesterol. Maybe we're starting to form cancer cells. All right? We see people with cancer in our office, high blood pressure, dead in thyroids, and where all of those things have healed. Not because we heal anything in this office. But if we remove this stress or widen your gap, the better your body's going to be able to adapt to your environment. All right, we use torque release technique. It's FDA proven to remove spinal subluxations or remove or widen your gap here. All right, over time we continue to remove those layers of stress on the nervous system and widen your gap so that you can better adapt to those things that are overwhelming your body.